Good morning to everybody. Welcome to week two of our 28 days of fasting. This entire week, we're going to be bringing into focus the idea of surrendering our all to God. This is all about us giving everything that we are and everything that we have to Him. So I want to bring our thought into focus by looking at a very familiar passage in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, where the Apostle Paul says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. Now, it is just amazing that we are challenged or we encourage, and even sometimes we find it so difficult to yield ourselves to God. But you see, very often when people think of surrender, they think of being forced into a direction by someone who's stronger or someone who's greater. But the surrender that you and I are called to give to God, which may be defined as giving ourselves up into the power of God, giving ourselves up over to Him, where we are yielding ourselves to him, really and truly, it's not by force. It is, it is not motivated, you know, by the fact that he is greater than we are and what he can do to us. But it is in light of his goodness, in light of his grace, in light of his mercy, the fact that, again, we are reminded that God gave up himself for us so that we can have everlasting life. We are moved by his love and by his grace for us. And this is why now we are yielding ourselves over to him. We are taking this opportunity this week to take every aspect of our lives, as the scripture says, our bodies. Now, the context of this scripture is not just your flesh, not just your hands and your feet, but everything that you are, you want to give to God. You see, when we surrender to him, we're essentially making him the focus, the attention of our affection and of our love and of our commitment and of our grace. Because we're saying to God, Lord, you know, we no longer want to live for ourselves. We no longer make our own dreams our focus, but we're making you our focus and we're living our lives for him. We're reminded as well that even as Jesus faced one of the greatest challenges of his life, you know, before he went to the cross in the Garden of Gethsemane, he was challenged with his will versus the will of his father. Maybe his desire, that natural desire to preserve his life, to to live, to remain with his friends, you know, to remain with his family, as opposed to giving himself over to the ultimate will of God, which was to sacrifice himself. And the scripture says that as he prayed and prayed and prayed, and he said, Father, if it be possible, take this cup from me. Jesus ultimately made the decision out of those exciting words of, nevertheless, not my will, but let your will be done. Those were words of commitment. Those were words of complete surrender. I'm reminded, even as we give focus this week, to take our lives, the various areas of our lives, whether it be ourselves in terms of our desires, our thoughts, whether it be our family, whether it be our finances, whether it be our work, whether it be, you know, our personal interests. When we can now take all these things and place before God this week, where we ultimately say, God, Lord, it is not what we want for this church, even for Mount of Praise as a church. Lord, it's not what we want, but it is what you want. I'm reminded that there is no victory without surrender. There is no victory without surrender. God's desire is that we give our lives to him. 
in the passage, Romans 12, 1, it says that our surrender, our giving over of ourselves is our act of worship unto God. So when we think about worshiping him this week, imagine this. There's no greater worship that you can bring to our Heavenly Father than your complete surrender. So take some time out this week to give everything to him, every area of your life. Lay it out before him and ask him, God, take it, direct it, lead me in whatever areas you want me to go. God bless you. Have a great week.